I felt that somebody touched my shit. And when I woke up, I was in intensive care in the hospital because of overdose. I should have died that day, but God resurrected me. I started using drugs at the age of 11. I began to smoke marijuana. A few years after, I began to sniff cocaine. I begin to be wild in the street, I begin to be involved in gang. I begin to be my own legend. I remember the first time that I shoot heroin. My friend told me not do it, but I told him that I want to do it. When he put the needle in my arm, I inject the heroin. He told me, Jose, you married today with the devil. I said, I know that. The worst thing that happened to me when I was at it was how many people I lost because of the war of the screen. Many people get shot. Many people get killed. Many people die for all the those. It's a merciless place. I thought I never gonna get out. Eventually my life take me to a, to a point that I, the selling of drugs is no longer satisfied, so we begin to work stealing vehicle. So in 1999, I've been charged with carjacking charges, facing 16 years in prison in Puerto Rico. When I was in prison, God did a great miracle in my life and God allowed me to go to Teen Challenge. The best thing that happened to me in Teen Challenge was how God began to restore my life, helping me, showing me how to dress correctly, how to speak correctly, how to be around people without thinking that somebody wants to take something from me or I want to take something from them. Without Team Challenge, absolutely, I've been on the ground. I've been dead by this time. God give me the best gift in my life, my wife Nelly. Today I'm ordained minister. God changed my life, restored my family, Today, I'm the director for Teen Chan Dominican Republic with my wife pioneering a great ministry here, helping others to be restored and change life. Without God, it's impossible. My name is Jose, I'm a miracle.